Welcome to this Foam Titan and Salesforce demo. In this video, we will show you how easy it is to use Foam Titan to read data from Salesforce and update it. We will read my accounts from Salesforce and therefore I will drop a drop down onto my form. I will name it account. And obviously I'll remove the current options within this drop down. The next thing to do is to bring the text box to the form. And this will be populated with my account number once I've selected an account. So I'll call it account number. Now we have to go to the Salesforce integration, get data from Salesforce, click on map fields. And here we're going to add the object we're working with. In, this, in our case, it is account. So I'll click add object. From the drop down, I'll select an account. And I will say run it when the form loads, so to populate the drop down when the form loads. And I'll bring everything, the first 100. I will order it by my account name. And then I will say, bring me the account names from Salesforce onto my account drop down. That's all I have to do to populate that drop down when the form loads. The next thing to do is once I've selected an account in that drop down, I want to populate the account number. Again, we will click on add object and we will select the account object again. This time we will say there is a condition and the condition is the account ID equals to the form's account value, which is the account ID. Click apply, get me the first match obviously. And the map fields I want to say is the account number from Salesforce will go to my account number text box. That's all I have to do in order to read data from Salesforce, it's done. The next step is actually doing the update when the form is submitted. So this is the push to Salesforce, click edit. And then again, what object are we updating? I'll click add object and I will select the account object. This time it's an update, it's not a create. So we have to set a condition and the condition is exactly the same as before, the account ID equals to the drop down value. I will map the fields to update, which is the account number. So I'll just filter by that and I'll say number. And that's it. That's all I have to do. Click finish. And now when I publish and view the form, just like that, you will see that, that my accounts are populated. I selected one, the account number is there. And if I update it now, click submit. The form is submitted and now the data has been updated in Salesforce. Just to prove the point, there we are. It's now P. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the demo.